Joining us this morning is Heather Sandy and Grant Harville from the Idaho State Civic Symphony to tell us about their upcoming performance of Joy to the World in ISU Christmas. But thank you both for joining us. So this is going to be a pretty big show this weekend. Tell us about it. Well, so this weekend is the ISU Christmas weekend. The Stevens Performing Arts Center is festooned with wreaths and lights. And on stage, Friday and Saturday evening, we will have over 300 musicians between the orchestra. We have the ISU uh, concert choirs. We have the camarada singers. And we will also have a new addition this year is the ISU Children's Chorus on stage. So it's going to be a little bit different than some of the other shows you guys have throughout the season because it is going to be you know, there's a, a di an additional people on the stage. Right. <laughs> what, what is that like? Well, crowded, uh, <laughs> but, sure. but, but exciting. It's a, a really great chance for the various ISU groups to collaborate and perform a really sort of wide swath of music appropriate for the season. So lots of your traditional carols, but also some more sort of contemporary settings of carols. We're doing the Mannheim Steamroller version of Silent Night, for instance. Um, some pieces that feature the orchestra alone, some excerpts from The Nutcracker and March of the Toys from Babes of Toyland, but also some just chorus alone pieces. Um, there's a piece called uh, Ring Out Wild Bells, which is sort of an out with the old, in with the new kind of theme. I'll a real wide variety that's appropriate for the time of year. And it would probably be a lot of songs that people could recognize, right? Well, we hope so, because you're supposed to sing. <laughs> so, uh, audience participation, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping encouraged. that you don't need to have a good voice, because then I probably shouldn't go. <laughs> well, uh, you know, with hundreds of your best friends around you, you should be able to blend in well. Yeah, they won't even know. <laughs> uh, so would, would this be like a family performance? Could people bring their kids in? Or? Absolutely. Absolutely family performance. We are close to being sold out Friday night, so there are st tickets still available for Saturday. So I encourage people to call the box office at 282-3595 and get their tickets. Now, if they've never been to the symphony before, why would you think this is a good one to go to? You know, it's, um, I, you know, because of the audience participation, it's going to be a really engaging show, I think, for a lot of people. And uh, if you're ever scared about things like familiarity and things like that, the, you'll recognize 90% of the tunes on this one. So it, it should be, it should go down smooth. <laughs> yeah, and if it's already almost sold out on Friday, it sounds like it's going to be a very popular show. Now, you also said there's going to be a narrator involved with yes, the show. Yes, our, lo our local celebrity, Mike <laughs> Sanders, will be our narrator for the evening. And as many people will re recognize his voice from TV commercials and so forth, but we've, he's generously offered to be our narrator, which is kind of a nice touch as well. So what is it like to have the narrator through? Does it kind of blend the songs together? Does he kind of introduce it? How does that work? Well, so there'll be some, some um, Christmas um, stories intertwined with the music, some poetry, um, just a way to wrap and, and, and cohesively bring the whole concert into a full program versus just piece after piece. And then what, what's the final selling point of why people should come this weekend? Wreaths. <laughs> uh, uh, jingle bells. Jingle bells, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I think it's just the excitement of all these musicians coming together and, you know, sharing some of the spirit of the season. Yeah, it, really, it sounds like it's really going to get people excited for the holiday season Absolutely. just a couple weeks early so they can just slide right in the there following you go. weekend. There well, you thank go. you both for thank joining you. us this morning. That sounds like a great show. And make sure you get your tickets early, especially if you want them for Friday, right? Exactly. Thank you.